Got my hands on the Apple Watch 10 in the new Titanium Gold. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isidus Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. It's iPhone week, and together with that, we get new Apple Watches. You guys know I love pretty watches, so the moment they announced a new gold Apple Watch, I knew what I was gonna get. But aside from the new titanium colors, though, super excited because this Apple Watch Series 10 is supposed to be the thinnest with the biggest screen. And me having the tiny wrists, I am very curious to see how that looks on my arms. Without further ado, Let's unbox. millimeter gold titanium watch the bigger one is a 46 millimeter this is the gold mesh strap and I did want to get that gold link strap but it seems to be sold out everywhere I asked two Apple stores I asked friends from the US and it seems like they couldn't get it either so I don't know what's going on there either way as much as I would have loved that other strap this still looks very good and yeah like I said this is how that all looks on my teeny wrists now the gold is one of the new titanium colors and this supposedly weighs 20% less than the previous gold watch and by the way this is an apple carbon neutral product apple claims that this is the thinnest apple watch but more mind-blowing to me is that this is the biggest screen on any apple watch yet and that claim includes apple watch ultra which as you guys know is a huge watch like i can't even wear that watch on my wrist and yet the apple watch 10 doesn't look bad at all. I gotta be honest, when they announced this new watch and they said that it would have a bigger screen than the Ultra, I was scared that it wouldn't fit me at all. But now I see that those fears are unfounded and while I do feel that the screen is bigger, that this is a slightly bigger watch, it really only feels a little bit bigger than my 41 millimeter Apple Watch Series 9. So let's take a closer look at this watch. As you can see, the edges are curved. And this is Apple's new Ionic glass design. Basically, they're saying when worn, you get better viewing angles. So for example, you're out at lunch and your watch alerts, you can sort of see from this weird angle more of the screen. Let's check with an actual notification. I mean, yeah, I, I can see that. Now you do get two more watch faces. This is the reflections watch face and watch <laughs> pun intended as it reacts to the movement this particular watch face I absolutely love with this gold titanium watch it just looks so good and then this is also something that you can edit stuff on well not the complications you also get the flux watch face this is new and I would say this is more editable as you can see even the colors you can change around now, taking a closer look at this watch you have of course the dial that's also a button you have this next other button the back gives you those sensors of course and this watch strap also interchangeable like before let's see if the previous watch straps work on these they fit perfectly now on the other side of this watch this is new those are speakers very discreet very smooth placement 8 15 a.m Oh, and did you hear that? This is a new Apple Watch Series 10 feature. So this means that this watch can actually answer back without your phone speakers. So the Apple Watch Series 10 is powered by an S10 chip, which means it's running on the same chip as the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is. 
pretty powerful. That also means you get features like better voice isolation when you use the mics on this watch to talk to people or answer calls. And like I mentioned earlier, there are speakers on this watch now. Another big thing that this watch does, fast charging, which to me matters because if you can give me a week's worth of battery time on a wearable, I'm gonna need it to charge fast so that I can top it up little by little every time that I take my wash off. I'm talking shower times or when I put on my makeup, which is actually perfect because this watch now promises 80% charge in 30 minutes. That's good. Of course, this thing will track your exercise, your sleep, your health data. It also now has sleep apnea tracking, which just got approval from the FDA. One thing I will say though, if you are from the US, your watch will not get SPO2 tracking. However, for the rest of the world, that feature is still available on the Series 10. I did sleep with this watch on last night, and as you can see, I had a really good sleep. And this will show you your sleep stages, more sleep stats, and and yes, this is a watch that has that sleep apnea tracking. Other new thing, a depth gauge, a temperature sensor, all things that will be pretty useful if you're the adventurous type or let's say when you're swimming. Now just to show you quickly, a swipe down gives you notifications and you can read them here or reply. You get a weekly summary on Apple Health. And again, this watch does track your movement, your exercise, your stand goals let's see here you go move exercise stand and obviously i've not walked today it's too early you guys and yeah in general it's just a great looking watch and you guys know i love my melanie straps but i really do want the new link bracelet so here are the two watches side by side. This is the Series 9, this is the Series 10. And as you can see, like you don't feel much of a difference in terms of size, but like this is a bigger screen. Here they are side by side as you can see i mean very slightly this feels a little chunkier and i just think that this feels sleeker adding in the ultra to the mix so these are the watches side by side apple watch ultra 2 you have the apple watch series 10 apple watch series 9 obviously apple watch ultra screen still bigger because this is the apple watch series 10 42 millimeter and there's a 46 millimeter version but yeah obviously this is way bulkier compared to the two and the thing is with these three screens though I don't feel like it's that big a difference but in terms of looks I'm definitely still loving this titanium gold series 10 what do you guys think now this is just my first look of the watch I did just get this today so all those other features the sports tracking sleep apnea temperature sensors for when you're swimming let me know if you guys would want me to test that out comment down below but yeah first impressions of the Apple watch series 10 I like it considering that finding smart watches with a big screen has always been a struggle for me having the teeniest wrist I feel like Apple really did nail the perfect middle ground between size of the screen and size on your wrist definitely a win for girls with like twig arms like me <laughs> that's it for today's video our very first look at the apple watch series 10 let me know what you guys think i also will have videos on the iphone 16 and the iphone 16 pro coming up soon we also will have content on the new apple watch ultra 2 in black that's gonna be up on our website link down below as well that's it for today if you want to see how i use my tech on a daily basis find me online that's isa does underscore on instagram twitter and tiktok till next time